Hi, my name's Mike, and today I've got two messages to share from the Prophecy 44 news site. The first one's called Mark of the Beast Revisited, given to Sister Elizabeth Marie on the 21st of March 2020. And this is what was written. Um, on the 18th of March 2020, while praying, I sensed in my spirit that there was a message that the Lord wanted to give me. As I waited, I heard something that I had never heard before from him. He said to go back to the previous warnings that I had received and to revisit them and bring them to the full light. Since I received so many messages, I wasn't sure which ones he was referring to. I knew that I had now had homework in front of me to do. However, later that day, while running errands, I received a download from the Holy Spirit. It was concerning the mark of the beast. I was given a clearer picture of what is coming. I felt in my spirit that this was what the Lord wanted me to revisit in the previous messages he had given me. So once I got home, I did two things. I looked at the passages in the Bible about mark of the beast, and in Strong's coordinates, I saw that the word mark means a stamp, imprinted mark, a branded mark, or a graven work. We can see this in Revelation 13, 16 to 17. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark in their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. The second thing I did was to go back over the messages from the last year or two that talked about the mark of the beast. I was amazed at what I found and how it relates to what is happening now. So per the Lord's instruction, I will share a few excerpts from three different messages that have four warnings. The original message will be in the link in the title, so there's a link there to go to. And received upon awakening, 3.24.19, cannot buy or sell without a mark. A new system will be set up and only those who conform will be able to purchase. All others will be locked out. They will crash the system permanently. This is coming soon. Please prepare. Prepare in spirit. I will be your source. Look only to me. Get ready for it. It comes. Received while praying. First 29.19. Get ready for what is coming because it is real doozy. I did not understand what doozy meant, so I looked it up. Something that is extraordinary, outstanding, one of its kind, impressive or unique. It will encompass many things all at once and will touch many lives. Then I asked the Lord Jesus, can you tell what you are referring to? And it replies, it is an economic collapse of biblical proportions. It will make the Great Depression look like a walk in the park. I asked the Lord, why are they doing this, Lord? And this is what the Lord replied, They are setting up their one world new order. Out of the ashes will arise the beast, and his mark will be with him. A collapse is necessary to implement their plan. People must be desperate, or many would refuse the taking of the mark. Now, unfortunately, even my own will fall prey to their new system. And again, I asked the Lord, I thought we might be gone in the rapture before this, and this is what the Lord replies. No, you will still be here as I come after the mark. It will be a sign of my imminent return. When the beast arises, know that I am at the doorstep of coming. Store up as best as you can. I will provide for my children during this time of financial calamity. Look to me for every need, and I will supernaturally provide like in the days of the ten plagues. Testing, I am testing my children now and putting them through the fires of trials and tribulations. Rejoice, for your reward will be great in heaven when you endure for my name's sake. My children, have faith in me to see you through what is coming. I am here for you as a friend, a comforter and a provider. Stay true to me and you will reap the rewards. Your bridegroom, your provider and your saviour, Jesus, Yeshua, the one and only Messiah. And, and, and the sister replied, Is there anything else, dear Jesus? Then I heard, Prepare, be diligent in your walk with me. Stop trying to please man. Look only to me, for I am your only true source. Stop wasting time on things that do not matter. 
have an eternal focus. Do not be alarmed when these things fall, for you have been warned. Do not fear, but take command through spiritual warfare. Remember that their power is small, while mine is great. Use it. Remember that love is always the answer. Um, many will be taken against their will to places that their enemy has set up during these times. I will be with my own to give them strength and fortitude to through these persecutions. They will supernaturally will be given power to accomplish my will, even under the worst of circumstances. I will never forsake or abandon my people, but will be only a prayer away. Become more self-sufficient now, as the mark of the beast is being implemented and you will not be able to buy or sell. The traps are now being laid, where many will not be able to even work. Many will be denied their wages and will soon have no money to live. This mark is almost upon you, and many will have to choose their final destiny. Choose me and live forever. Curfews, camps and persecution is on the horizon for the Western world. No longer will you be able to buy or sell unless you conform to the beast's thinking. This is why I keep sounding the alarm to prepare among yourselves. And the sister continues, I truly believe that the Lord is once again sounding the alarm and reminding us not to be deceived in these last days. The mark is coming and with it comes the wrath of the Antichrist and his system. I believe that it is different than we think, so we must have our alerts up and be gentle as doves and wise as serpents. Do not believe everything you hear or what you may have been taught. Instead, go to the Word of God and seek God for answers. As believers in Jesus Christ, we must ask and pray for discernment to the, to the enemy's lies and snares, and we must share with others that that anyone that takes the mark will not receive eternal life. Here is that stone warning from Revelation 14, 9 to 10. Then a third angel follows them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives this mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his ignition. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You can read that in Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And there's some links as well below there. Um, I'll leave the link for the article so you can check that out yourself. Anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, don't wait as time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.